The Waiver File Events feature helps you manage waivers for groups, birthday parties, or other events. Rather than just having all the waivers lumped together, names are organized into each event so you can keep track of them and find them easily. In this video, we'll go over some of the features available and show you how to set up new events. We'll start here in the dashboard, and you'll see on the right we already have a few events listed, but let's go create a new one to see how that works. We'll click on Events on the left. Let's click on New Event to make a new one. We'll give our event a name, and we'll choose a start and end time. If your event runs all day, you can check an all day event, which will remove the time. Then you can choose which waiver forms apply to your event. In our demo here, we just have one waiver form, so we'll leave that checked. The next option is to invite a manager. This will let you invite people to see a list of names of people who have signed. I'm going to add my own email just, just for the demo. You can optionally include a message that will be included in the email that goes out. If your event is going to repeat, you can check the box to make a recurring event. You can choose if it repeats daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. And you can choose how often it repeats, if it ends after a certain number of occurrences, or if it ends by a specific date. For this demo, we're just going to turn that off and make one event. So we'll click Save when we're done. The email that goes out looks like this. The recipient of the email will be able to click here to view a list of all the events that they have access to. And here they'll see a list of names for that event. You can choose to filter that view by people who are checked in or not checked in, or just view everyone. And you can click over here to download that file to Excel. Back on the dashboard, you'll see our event is listed here, and as people sign the waiver, their names will appear right here. If we go back to our signature area, and then click on here for an event, you'll see our party is listed here. We can click on that, and at the top it indicates that you're signing for this event, and it shows the date and time. We'll scroll through our waiver, and let's fill out the form. So in my test, I'm signing for myself and two kids. I'm going to click on Sign here. I'm going to choose I agree. I'm all done with that now. Now if we go back to our dashboard, you'll see the two names listed here. You can check the names in one by one, and the totals will update in the bottom, showing you how many people are checked in, how many are not. Back in our event list, you can also create a QR code for a specific event. We'll go ahead and click on the QR code link. And there's a few options. You can download just a QR code only or a flyer, or you can get it in GIF format. Let's just go with the flyer for now. And we click on Get QR Code. That's going to generate a PDF that we can print out. And when a customer scans this, it will automatically take them straight to the signing page for this event and sign the waiver right on their phone. To learn more about WaiverFile or to try it free for 30 days, visit WaiverFile.com. Thanks for watching.